But like, what's your your strategy for ads? Then is it just, hey, here's my song, go listen to it, or do you have a strategy that you use when you go about running your ads? Yeah. So, at the basic level, it is a cold targeted outreach based on similar interests and in artists. Um, and, and so cold I, means that's people that don't know you have never right. heard of me before. Right. Yeah, that's, you. There's cold audience. Somebody's never heard of you before warm audience. Uh, somebody has heard of you before. Uh, so we want to take a cold audience and turn them into a warm audience and you can take a warm audience and then you can turn them into customers. Um, in this case, uh, you know, a customer technically could mean somebody listening to your music on Spotify, but also the long term, you get somebody who's invested into you as an artist who is going to buy your music, who's going to buy your merch, who's going to come to a show. That's really the ultimate goal. And that's another reason I like advertising. So I will start with a cold targeted audience, something like, so for my music, it'll be like a combination of rock, electronic music, um, and other affinities. I find there's a big cross section of my my music and style with video gaming and working out. So I'll target something like IGN or physical fitness, and hmm. weightlifting. Uh, my songs are on weight, a lot of like gym playlists. So I'll just lean into that. Um, so I'll start out with that. And then it's really just introducing an ad that has, you know, the cover art of my song and the music in the background with uh, a section that has performed the best, you know, I'll start out testing multiple sections of the song, arrive at the one that performs the best, pretty simple video that's got the artwork and some movement to it. And they click through and they can go to Spotify and listen to it. And then if they like it, they'll choose to follow me and hopefully save the track. And then more importantly, I've got that data uh, inside the ad platform that allows me to retarget that person with an offer at a later date, if they, if they discover me on Spotify alone, I can't pull that user off of Spotify. I don't have access to that data. So there's no way that I can serve them up an ad or get their email address or stay in touch with them or engage with them really outside of just releasing new music. Okay. Do you ever, do you ever try to like build an email list? You run ads to maybe an email offer so that when, when they're on your email list, you can, because once they go to the Spotify, you can't really I mean, you can retarget them with an ad, but you can't really re-communicate to them. Exactly. So that's really, that's the funnel. <laughs> you know, if, if, if this thing is a funnel, which it is, you know, uh, awareness is them seeing the ad, seeing your content, whatever, uh, you know, consideration, they come down, they've, they have clicked through and they're listening to, to your music on Spotify. And then when you get them to make a decision, it's to offer them something in return for their email address. So you can pull them off of, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you don't have to spend money to advertise to them anymore. If you can get somebody's email address, which I will say as an aside is a very um, important relationship. So it's not something to be taken lightly. If somebody gives you, gives you their email address, that's a huge deal. So you need to be sensitive to that. Don't just spam, 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 right? Like they have really trusted you with a piece of information that's kind of sacred. So if you can use something like a free download or a merch discount or some sort of other incentive uh, to gather an email address, then you have the ability to communicate with your fan base free of algorithms, free of paid advertising. Um, you That's, know, you can send a, you're right, you don't have traffic that you control, right? There's traffic you right. borrow, which is ads. There's traffic mm -hmm. you don't control at all, which is like social media where you post something yeah. and maybe only a few people see it. Then there's traffic you actually own and control, which is your email list. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Are you tired of posting on social media over and over, but not actually seeing any results, not actually gaining any new fans, not actually making an income from your music? If so, then be sure to grab my free fan funnel formula guide in the description below or go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash fan. And this will walk you through step by step a proven system for generating followers and then on autopilot, turning those followers into fans and actual customers. In this free guide, you'll discover the only four things you need to start generating automated income from your fans. You'll also learn how to start building an email list full of dedicated fans ready to do whatever you tell them, whether that be to stream a song or buy a t-shirt from your store. And most importantly, you'll also learn a little known secret to actually earning an income from your music without touring or selling your soul. Again, this is all inside of a free guide 
in the description below, or you can go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash fan to grab your free copy of this guide. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks on growing a fan base online for your music, then go ahead and click the video on the screen right now. With that, have an awesome day. Keep creating, and I'll see you in a future video.